first and then I take one by one and I cut them out, I cut out the sides and I start assembling. There's another diesel bus with a sliding door like the trolley bus had, sliding door. Whereas this one had a big open wide double door and this one had a, a different beading on the front and, and a different door again. There's all variations, you know. I used to remember them because I used to go to on the motor bus routes. I used to remember these things, but they were never successful, really. There's another one. Why well, weren't there's um... Well, because the diesel is not efficient. You don't move people with diesel. You move them with electricity. It is, as a child, in 1955, I used to call this the aeroplane bus. Uh, because it had a tail like an aeroplane, you see. The bus chassis. The AEC trolley bus chassis. This is a trolley bus chassis. They based this bus and did their own body, but it's on a trolley bus, on this bus's chassis. When they scrapped the AEC trolley bus, they kept one and they used the chassis and they put a diesel engine in the front. Articulated trolley bus you can find in the world. If it was built, it would be the longest in the world and carry 486 passengers. And the headlight used to, especially at night when they were on, you could see the flickering used to affect the globe inside, made it flicker with a vibration from the diesel engine. The Mini Town is still going now. Yeah, they So you actually made the, the models. The for models it. were started in 1965, the model building. But all the different model makers, some were doing the buildings, but I was working in the company that made the mechanical one, the ships for the harbour, the train, the St Sunday time single deck bus like these, yeah, like the old Leyland Royal Tiger. And we did a single decker, but they didn't. They didn't want the electric one because the trolley buses were going out of Durban. My name is Nenjo. My colleague is Nenjo. Appreciate it.